So this is the second part of a one part. <laughs> it started as a one part and then uh, you started looking at some of the requirements or the design priorities and that changed a uh, potential design, right? So I, I really like the pattern, loader patterns we did the other day uh, and I'll have a link to that in the video. And, but it may be our priorities are different. So if our priorities were different and we had, maybe we'll have these instead, right? So maybe we want to reduce the number of transforms that are executed and reducing the number of transforms that are executed and registered is a higher priority than maybe getting data into our lake versus our warehouse, right? Uh, and one of the drivers might be that transformations, we really wish they were built using tool that the business understands. And in a lot of cases, the only data transformation tool the business understands is SQL. So does that mean we should limit ourselves or pick our primary transforms to be SQL based? Now, specific consumers may do transforms into temporary spaces uh, that would be using different tools. But in this case, I'm gonna posit that uh, maybe the primary transforms should only ever be done in SQL and not in any other language. And it's just so that we can audit it so that the review boards can see it, that kind of thing. Another priority might be, I wanna remove duplicative transactions and transforms and maybe all the primary zones. So if I had a raw zone and a conform zone, um, maybe those would, in two different places in a lake and a warehouse, maybe those transforms to build those two would only be in one place. And we might prioritize near time for either users or machine consumption, but not both, in which case we might pick one place and then copy it to a place that's fit for purpose. So this is what we talked about the other day. Previously, we looked at loading in parallel. We looked at loading warehouse first and we looked at loading lake first. And the orangish dots represent where we're doing transforms. The yellow dots represent where the transform is just a pure copy. And so there's nothing to be observed there. So in the raw zone, in the lake and warehouse parallel load, we actually have to do four transforms to get it built. Two of those are probably similar, but the sinks are different. So we might get lucky and end up with three. Uh, in the warehouse, it's done in SQL. In the lake, it's done in Spark or something else, or Spark SQL. Um, if we do a lake first strategy, then we have one hard transform to load it in using some tool. Uh, and then that raw zone would be copied into another raw zone, which, and then we'd have two transforms using different tools, uh, one in the lake and one in the warehouse. So in a way, uh, the number of transforms there is the same and the warehouse first one is actually the same thing, right? So, uh, Maybe we decided that the orange transforms are the ones the business needs to understand. So in this case, we're gonna look at doing a single transform path. And I said here for the primary zones, right? Um, and so for the primary zones that in this case, I'm gonna assume that's raw and curated and that if you have a presentation zone or something else, uh, that's somebody else's responsibility. So in this case, uh, we have only two transforms. So we do one into the raw zone of whichever area we want to do. And then we do another transform to put it into conformed or curated. And then we only have copy operations for the primary zones. If you had secondary and tertiary zones like presentation and machine learning, uh, those transforms would be custom for those other zones, kind of like custom views, right? You'd have custom transforms. So what are the pros of this path? Uh, single path for raw and conformed. So you only have one set of transforms, you know, they're going to be the same. You don't have to audit the fact that those transforms were done differently. Um, all transforms that are complex, that are on your primary path can use the same tooling. We could do it all in SQL. We could do it all in whatever. Um, that the binaries are uh, only handle, or maybe you don't have two tools. Maybe one of them is just a fill and then you only use a, one set of tools to go from raw to conformed or raw to curated. Um, binaries are all handled in one place. So when we drop it in the first raw zone, we could write the binaries out to some binary location, and then that link could be used in all the other um, in all the other uh, rep repositories, right? There'd only be one reconciliation path, really, um, because you'll be able to do uh, copies between the two, uh, like the warehouse and the lake could be done with machine tools or uh, tools provided by the vendors, the Deus Ex Machina. I don't really know how it works. It just does because it copies 
from one uh, style to the other, and that you don't have to write any code for that. So the only thing you'd really have to do reconciliation um, and bookkeeping is when it comes in from the originating system to the raw and then raw to conformed in one of those, and then you could assume that the copies are correct or you would just use the vendor's tools for the copy. Uh, the con of this is um, you end up prioritizing one set of users first because invariably uh, the lake or the warehouse have different consumers. That the leaf repository, so in this case, the top repository has a lower SLA because it's got to pass through the primary repository. So you got to decide which use cases are primary and secondary. Um, and then with this, this is actually a plus or a minus. The zones above curated conform would still use different tools and that's by design, uh, but that still means you have two sets of tools and that's probably fit for purpose tools. So that's probably the right way to go. So again, this is really a revisit here. If trying to take into account where we do transforms and what tool those are and where reconciliations in the previous talk, we really didn't talk about that. I was more talking about it um, from another point of view, but I wanted to add this in because it came up. Uh, in a, it's come up a couple of times in different places, and I hope this is useful. Have a great day.